we are going to replace a rail on a obsolete sill for a sliding glass door. And what we're having to do is cut the one out that's all rotted and worn out and replacing it with one that we ordered. We'll show it to you here in a minute. But to do that, we have to cut the old ridge off. So what we're doing, we're using a vibrating tool. This one is by Rockwell. I've had it for about 12 years and it works great. Uh, we got the metal wood cutting blade on it. And so to cut this long track out, which is eight foot long, <clears throat> we're going to go lengthways. So it's just handier for me the way I'm at right now because I'm right-handed to cut the way I'm cutting. So what we do to make this easier, and we've got about six foot of it already cut out. And you'll see these little pieces. These are little pieces of the rail that we're cutting out. So the way to do this is you gotta get started somewhere. Here's what we're gonna do, folks. Because the blade is only this long. So you can't cut the whole length because the track will hit the blade in. So what we're gonna do we're gonna cut slices about the length of the blade. So when we get there, we just cut past them and they flip right on through. That's why we have these little pieces here. So let's do a little demo. Now, to make this job easier, we're gonna cut these cuts ver vertically down, okay? this way you can go this way because this part's already been done so let's try that I'm actually right-handed so I usually go back here and I I start me an angle cut back here let me show you what I mean so what I've been doing is just taking the tool Okay, now here's all of our little pieces we got left. So what you do as a trick, if y'all don't already know this, you get you an old water bottle and you put these pieces in the water bottle so you don't end up stepping on them or getting them here and there. And use a vacuum cleaner as you're going. My wife is doing the vacuum cleaner so I'm not getting metal shavings all over the place. It's basically going in and out of the most busiest door in the house, headed to the backyard. So, if you have old and ripped nails and screws and pieces like that laying around, don't just throw them in a trash can. Because someday, someone's gonna empty that trash can, maybe your trash guy, and maybe that nail or screw is not gonna make it into the bed of the truck. It's gonna end up in your driveway behind your car. So put them in a bottle with a lid on top. We've tried several replacements over the years. Uh, today we just cut out this track here to try to replace it with uh, another add-on track. We've tried the rail system, the Teflon rails, and that created a really gooey mess here that we've got. We're using Goo Gone uh, to dissolve the old glue and silicone and one thing and another that we've used. We've tried the snap-over rails, and those work for a little while just like the Teflon system worked for a little while. And then uh, the snap over, eventually the part that gets all the action, whichever end of the door starts coming loose about a foot back, starts popping up, and then it's, a, it's another mess. So it's an old door. To replace the door is gonna be about $6,000. So we're trying another fix that we got. We've actually ordered this rail from uh, Walmart. We'll get you the information on that. But uh, anyway, uh, we're working on trying to uh, remove the old glue and clean up this before we try to attach the other one. And the other one will attach with uh, screws and anchors. Okay. Okay, folks, we have been cleaning on this old track, which is about 40 years old. And we've just replaced, uh, we're getting ready to replace this rail here. So we had to cut it out. We cleaned it off with Goo Gone and looking much better than it did. 
probably the best it has in 40 years, to be honest with you. So, anyway, we're moving right along here, and we will continue here in just a moment. Okay, what we're going to use for this project, because we're going into concrete and stucco, you might be going into wood, but we need to have uh, something that'll go into st concrete and stucco without putting anchors in and all that stuff. So we're using the Tapcon system, and these are the screws. They come with the, the little uh, star bit that goes with it for the right size. Had to buy the drill bit separately, but you know, what the heck. Uh, I'm also, since I got these old rails that are 40 years old, some of the screws have come out, and I'm going to put some of these into the old rail here. And it says to use a hammer drill, so we're using our hammer drill, but I don't know. It seems like these old holes are watered out too much. Yeah, see there, it came right out. Okay, folks, this is the rail, and we got it through Walmart, but it came from DK Supply in Hollandale, Florida. They, they're a supplier of about everything that you can imagine. Uh, so anyway, this is the rail. It's going to go down to replace the, uh, the other rail. It's go right there where we ground the old track off. We ground the old track off. So we're going to put it in place. We mark the ends where the rail needs to go. Okay, as we continue on this rail project for the uh, sliding glass door, we're now working on this rail. We're drilling the holes. We already marked them where we want them. And we drilled the holes, we pre drilled the holes, and now we countersunk the holes so that these nice countersunk heads will fit into the aluminum without hitting the rollers on the door. And that's the countersink drill bit that we use. Very simple process. And now we're going to show you how to countersink a hole if you've never done this before. So we've already pre-drilled the other hole. And this lumen is very thin, so we can't go very deep. We just gotta go just deep enough for the head of that screw. So here we go. The countersink drill bit just gets bigger as it goes. Well, folks, we have got the finished product. We just saw the door open. We got the trash put in. And everything works good. We need to put new rollers in the door because they're kind of old and they're clicking. So we can actually use the door again. I can open it with a finger. Look at this. Before, she was breaking her fingernails off in the door because she couldn't get it open. So, we countersunk the screws, we put the screws in, we used um, tap cons and we used some other regular screws. Uh, some of the couple of holes got watered out and we had to use do something else. But anyway, other than that, it's working. It saved us six thousand dollars. The track cost, I think she said around ninety dollars, and it came from DK supply. And uh, you know, it wasn't too bad, just having the right tools and the uh, the Lowe's hardware handy. <laughs> so, project complete. Yes. Thank you all for watching.